Hello Hard Video Order Stuff, welcome back. In this video, it's just gonna be a super quick video of how to set up the Aperture Light Day Mini 2, which I just picked up for some reason at the moment with lockdown going on, they're like gold dust. It might seem like a simple thing to set up, but actually I had a couple of questions when I set it up, so this is for you. So in the case, you should get a few things. You should get this mount thing, which I'll show you what it does later. You should get this, which, hang on, is it? No, okay, no, that's for diffusion and for changing your light temperature. You get this honeycomb thing, your main front sheet for diffusion, and of course the main housing of the light itself. So let's set it up. As I said, it is simple to set up, but hopefully with this video, even more simple. You want to start by leaving these Velcro bits undone. Don't do them up just now. And then just go along one by one and click them. You have to press quite hard on each of these bits here and they lock into place. Let's fast forward this. So there we go. With the last few, you do have to be quite firm. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they won't lock into place. Then, of course, you flip it around and do up these Velcro things. You've got to do them up nice and, nice and tight because you want it to be rigid, stable. And there we go. Next, you put this unit in, which just clips in using these metal bits here. And this is for using gels. And it's super simple. You just open it like that and it's magnetic. It's really brilliant. You don't have to use this all the time. If you want to keep it even lighter, you can just keep it in the bag if you're not planning on using gels. Next, you have to decide how much diffusion you want. And of course, you get this thing, which obviously affects the amount of diffusion. It adds an extra layer of diffusion. If you have it silver side down, that's going to give you a clear light. If you have it gold side down, that's going to give you a slightly warmer light. So that's up to you. And it just attaches with these Velcro bits. And I want I want clear light, so I want daylight or near to daylight temperature, 5500 Kelvin. So there we go, now I can start putting on this layer, which I will do now. Don't worry, there will be quite a big gap here between this layer and, you know, this is, this is all Velcro around here. And that is so that you can add your honeycomb. Now I found with this one, you just if you just place it roughly where you want it like that, um, it's best if you don't work all your way around like that because it's because it tends to get bunched up when you get to the end. So just place it loosely and then let it let it just fall where it wants to, where it wants to fall. And this makes a surprising difference to the quality and, and style of your light. This actually reduces the output of your your light by some some stops quite a few stops I don't know how many but um, yeah I'm probably gonna do some sort of testing so let's uh, let's see just for reference this is using the aperture c300 light and an umbrella I actually don't mind this it's not quite as diffused as I would like and it's definitely not as tight a beam as I would like but it's okay now switching to the aperture light zone mini and this is just with one layer of diffusion and I'm not using the honeycomb you can see I had to make significant tweaks to my exposure because it was just so bright and then when I switched to having two layers it's so much better I can't see myself ever filming without the two layers this was actually filmed using the warmer gold side of the inner layer of diffusion if I switch to the cooler side it looks like this. Weirdly, in this example, I think I actually preferred the warmer version, so I might stick with that one going forward. And then with the honeycomb, it's a treat for the eyes. It looks like this. Now, I love this because it's such a focus beam and you really notice all of the secondary lights that I've got on in the room. However, when I shoot this angle, I tend to vignette the crap out of it. So if I turn off the vignette and adjust the exposure accordingly, it looks like this. Now, I love this too. It actually could be my favorite of the whole lot. But as always, I want to know which one you think is best, plus how you use the Aperture Light Gen Mini to get amazing results. Let me know in the comments, buddies. So there we have it. Obviously, many of the components here are modular, so you don't have to have any of it. You can just customize it. There are lots of different types of light that you can get from this. So anyway, there you go. I hope that helped. There aren't many videos like this online for this product, so I thought, why not be the one to do it? And uh, yeah, I just uh, hope if you pick this up, this will help you. And see you next time. Take care.